Hello everyone, let's do some exercise based on our user defined functions explanation. So here one question for you and the question is like FL1 and FL2 are two function libraries and are associated with a test. Okay, and in both the function libraries one addition function is defined. Okay, and if this addition function is called from the test from where it is called the function of bridge library file is called. Okay. The options are addition function of library that is associated first that is FL1 or that is associated on the second number FL2 or if there any error occurs or none of the above. Put your correct answer in the boxes and the right answer is the first one FL1. Okay, we will see how this is correct. Okay. So, I have created two function library FL1 and FL2. In both the function library, addition function is defined. The difference is in FL1, we are actually adding A and B. And in FL2, we are subtracting the value A minus B. Okay. Now, in the test, we have called this function with 50 and 40. The one thing is, we have associated this file in this manner. The first is FL1 is associated, then second is FL2. Okay, now let's execute the code. The answer is it will actually add the value. Let's execute this. See, the answer is 90. Okay, so if the same function is defined into the multiple library file, QTP calls that function which is defined into the first library file okay now if we change the order here let's say we'll associate fl2 first here okay apply okay now if i execute this code it will return the value 10 let's execute this see the value is 10 because when qtp loads the function library it will find the addition into the very first library okay and then it will execute that addition function so the correct answer is the first one addition function of library that is associated first thank you hello everyone in this video we are going to discuss about the user defined functions okay as we discussed that we can store a function in the function library similarly subroutine can be stored into a function library as well. So we can store a subroutine and a function into a function library. So the difference between these two subroutine and function is the basic difference and the major difference is a subroutine cannot return any value, can't return any value, whereas a function return a value. Okay, and the second is in the subroutine, we'll use a sub keyword, whereas in the function, we will use a function keyword. Okay, so let's look these options from the QTP tool. I have a test function library that is associated with my test. Okay, so to write a function, put the function keyword. Okay, and after the function keyword, the name of the function. Let's say we'll do the addition of two numbers. Okay, then if the parameters are associated then pass the parameters let's say we have two parameters a and b okay so this is how you define a function let's do the addition within a function c equals to a plus b okay now we want to return a value c from this function to return a value write the function name and assign the value that you want to return to the function so the line 3 means the addition function is returning a value c so like other language you do not need not to use the returns keyword or something like that this is the way you can return a value from a function okay similarly a subroutine can be defined like this with a sub keyword let's say create a function square value and will pass only one parameter okay now in this if uh, let's say uh, we will do a square of the parameters that we have passed like this now if you write the statement like this equals to c 
the line number 8 will give you an error why because subroutine cannot return a value it can only execute the statement that is written within within a sub block okay so use the subroutine in that case where you do not want to return a particular value so let's put uh, the message box in this function subroutine let's say message box and square is c okay so here in function library we have one function and we have one subroutine okay now how to call a function from test first way is to associate the library that we have already associated now you can call a function and a subroutine in two way the first one is directly call the name and pass the parameter here this is the one way the second is use the call keyword and write the function name and then use brackets now the difference between these two is if you are using a call keyword then you have to pass the parameters within a brackets it means brackets are mandatory when you are using a call keyword whereas if you are not using a call keyword you need not to provide a bracket this is the only difference now the third way is if you are assigning a variable as a function like the let's say i have this one variable and i want the return value of addition function into this variable so the like this you can do it addition and again in this case you need to pass the parameters into the brackets when you are returning a value into a variable then in that case also a bracket is required in the similar manner you can call a subroutine as well subroutine what the name of subroutine is there is a square square value and you can pass like say 10 let's execute this code uh, let me comment first these two lines okay from here okay now we are capturing this let's say put one message box also and we'll write here addition is where add okay now if we execute this see first it will do the addition that is 30 and the second it will execute our square value function and the square is 100 okay so this is how you can create a function and a subroutine okay now the second thing is this is a function we have simply created where a value is return from a function now if you want to return an object from a function okay let's say we'll write one function here the name is test function okay uh, let's say this does not contain any parameter now if I have defined one object set object here and my object is this browser okay this is an object that is stored into our function object repository okay now I want this object to get returned from this function so to return any object from a function you have to write a set keyword set function equals to opg this is the correct way if you didn't provide if you don't provide this set keyword it will throw you an error that a type mismatch problem okay so you have to put a set keyword if you are returning an object from a function you can write a function it's not mandatory that you have to return some value from a function you can write a function also which cannot return any value and again it is not mandatory that you can write a function in function library only you can define a function within your test as well okay so this is all about the function and a subroutine into a qtp thank you